Welcome back to Cast and Cajun. I'm here at La Casa del Sol Mexican restaurant in Thibodeau, Louisiana with Chef Roy Gilbo and he's going to show you how to make trout veracruz. Thank you, Tony. It's always nice when you show up with good fresh fish like this. Uh, veracruz sauce is one of my absolute favorite ways to prepare a fish. Uh, it can work with a number of different types of fish, mahi-mahi, redfish, but speckled trout fresh out from the boat it cannot beat. So we'll get started with the red onions. We're going to go ahead and saute that in some hot olive oil. And I noticed you didn't chop the onions up. You like to leave them sliced. Yeah, I like to give the effect of a, almost a, a full meal or a salad going into this when the sauce is complete. Very rustic presentation. We'll go ahead with a little garlic. Got to have the garlic. We're going to let that get nice and translucent to where the garlic starts releasing that nice flavor and smell. Smelling good already. And next we're going to go with our tomatoes, which is the basis of any Mexican salsa. And tomatoes are very healthy. And I tell you what, they're always perfectly in season. A lot of times tomatoes, you get them and they're not perfectly ripe. You can always count on good quality canned tomatoes. We'll let that simmer for a while. Now we'll start building with our olives. We've got some pickled jalapenos. Um, it'll add a little bit of uh, acidity to the dish where fresh jalapenos will just add a, probably a little bit too much heat. We've got a mixture of herbs here. Uh, parsley, oregano, and an herb called epazote, which you can find in a Mexican specialty stores. That's a good one to me. We had a little bay leaf, mm. some black pepper, and which come a big surprise to a lot of people. Mexican cooking definitely believes in using cinnamon uh, in their savory dishes. So we got some cinnamon and clove here, and you don't need too much because a little bit goes a long way. Can be overpowering. Absolutely, but in the right balance, I tell you what, it creates a flavor that's very unique to Mexican cooking. And here we go, we got the Veracruz sauce. As you can see, nice and cooked down. Um, all the flavors, I mean, you can just smell that, just a beautiful smell coming from it. And our next step is just to take that sauce and put it over our speckled trout fillets. And these fish were actually swimming yesterday afternoon. So now we got a nice generous helping of salsa on top of there, as you can see. Go ahead, place it in the oven, and bake it for another 20 minutes. All right. As you can see, the fish is nice and baked. Just, you don't want to overbake it. 20 minutes is plenty of time. All right, Tony, well, I guess it would be cruel not to let you taste it now, wouldn't it? I tell you what, you can't beat the freshness of the fish. That really shines through. Like I said before, ça c'est bon. <laughs> it's not muy bueno. 